Let us see you, my friend, travel down your gravel path again. Hey, this is Lisa for the Buzzbot.com. Today I'm joined by Aaron McCune here at the Concert Under the Star series. Stars. We're under the stars right now. Yeah, uh, I'm King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Aaron. Prussia. Thanks for joining <laughs> You're us. welcome. First, uh, the latest album, uh, Small Deep Things Volume One. Yes. Long. It's a great five unreleased songs, 15 total. It's a great. It's um, yeah, it's in some ways it, it's the most recent because it's the newest thing I've made, but the music on it is the oldest music that I have. It's music from when I was 20, which was a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> we're the same age, so that was years ago. Yeah. Um, but the big news is that you're going to have in October a new release, yeah. Hundreds yeah. of Lions. Hundreds of Lions. And you're doing something special, Cabin Fever, yeah. that's for the album. Can you yep. explain yeah. what that is? Can I explain to that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cabin Fever is a fundraising concert series that I'm doing. And what it is, it's live web broadcasts from a house. Um, house concerts have happened for a long time. Artists have been fundraising for their own records for a long time. But I kind of married the two ideas and um, then added the magic of the internet to um, bring this idea to fruition. So the first one's from my living room. The second one is from my porch, um, the third one is from my river, and I don't mean like on the bank, I mean like in the river, <laughs> and the fourth one is from my front yard and we'll play Hundreds of Lions in sequence with a full band. Yeah. And um, you'll be able to watch live or later, and your ticket is a password that you just type into your computer. We have kind of a first where we have another friend of yours, Melissa Ferrick, <laughs> sent in a question for you. <laughs> so I'm going to quote Melissa because oh, no. I wouldn't want to. So I would, l this is quoting Melissa Ferrick, I would like Erin to explain pellets, that's right, pellets, <laughs> and why they are such a great source of heat. Melissa is making a reference to my house the house that is a cabin fever house. Um, my house used to have a stove, a wood stove in it to heat it. Now it has baseboard heat, but when I first moved in it had a wood stove, but not just any wood stove, a pellet stove, which those of you who are into country living will know about the pellet stove, which is basically a big hopper and you get these compressed wood pellets, which look like rodent feed, it, like guinea pig food is what it looks like. And you pour them into the hopper and then a screw turns and they drop little bit by little bit into the burning chamber so I could get like eight hours on a hopper and um, but it required you know when you got up in the morning you had to get the pellets and pour them into the top of the stove and light the stove and I happened to find out that you can mix corn with the pellets which also burns just as efficiently and isn't as expensive so I would make a corn pellet mixture and put that into my stove. Wow. Okay. Melissa. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, your question has been answered, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Beyonce uh -huh. was just in town. I, mm. I saw her the other night. Was it good? And it was fantastic. It was a spectacle. I bet. But um, you two share a song <laughs> in common. We do. Oh, we do. Um, we share a lot, but so, yeah, no, at least that song. No, she kind of. You know, <laughs> maybe she's a little more <laughs> glitter and boom. Just a little. Um, but can you explain your version or compare and contrast your version of Single Ladies yeah, versus okay. the Beyonce version? Compare and contrast. Uh, my version of Single Ladies by me uh, is a lot like Beyonce's in that it makes you want to dance and it makes you want to laugh and also um, it's a fine piece of songwriting. Uh, and you know, expose into like what your boyfriend did that you know, you don't want him to do anymore. Um, the only difference really between me and Beyonce is that um, she probably looks a little better in a bikini than me, but not much. No, I no. She was. Oh, and she's married to Jay Z, and I'm not married. Well, <laughs> that, and there are probably the two two differences. Other than that. Other than that, nothing. Yeah, no. it's yeah. out there that you started at Brown studying ornithology. Yeah, is that correct? It's true. Well, we have a little quiz for you. Okay. <laughs> See if you can. So, can you identify uh, this bird for me? That's a bluebird. Yes, it's a red-crested bluebird. But yeah. we'll take bluebird. Bluebird, thank you. Um. 
What about this? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that that's a yellow breasted tit. Well, uh, well I think that uh, it's actually. Oh, you have to look. It, yeah, I do. I didn't study <laughs> <laughs> it's a It's a, some kind of a brush finch. A your, a your, oh, and that's it, obviously a, someone's it, hand, so it's quite small. Yeah, it, but well, you got that one wrong. Okay, I guess I'm not an ornithologist. Yeah, and what about this? Um, that would just be the birds. There you go. Is that Roger right there? No, that's not Roger. That's the only one of the birds I could name. That's the only one? Yeah. Okay. The birds are 60s rock band. Okay. Um, so you were kind enough to do a written interview for thebuzzwell.com, and you said you um, the first concert you attended was New Kids on the Block. Mm. Did you att attend one of the reunions? No, I haven't attended, uh, nor the cruise. They <laughs> <laughs> did a reunion cruise, too. Wow. Um, well, I don't know if you like pre-ordered it on iTunes okay. or whatever, yeah. but I brought for you, no, you didn't. The Block. This is their comeback one? album, yeah, from last year. So you can reconnect. What with I like about this is that they tried to make each one of them be a certain kind of man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So this is like a lesson in how to be a man, which is hilarious to me that you have to distinguish between five men such as this. Did so you, I'm going to learn a lot. Did you have a favorite? Jordan. Jordan? That would be this type of man here. Wow. Um, Jordan has lost his rat tail. Jordan Knight, right? Jordan Knight has lost his rat tail. And um, everybody else looks good, actually. I think Donnie was always the wild card, and he looks great. Thank you so much. Uh, you're, well, you, you have to reconnect with, okay, your, well, you're with your youth. I love how they, they have all these, like, they have Neo, Lady Gaga, Akon. Yeah. I mean, please. That's the who's who. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm telling you. They're... Okay, so we've got to get right down to it because it's like serious competition. Okay. Recently, I sat and chatted with Melissa Furrick, who challenged you to a tie off. And the rules being, these are Melissa's rules, that you start from a seated position with the tie. It's the same tie, Melissa and Melissa fans. With the tie untied, okay, and you have to tie it around my neck. Actually, you know what? I want to tie it around your neck. Yeah, that's oh, the. Oh, it's not my own tie. No, tie. that's why. That's fine. You have to, so, okay. and and you'll be. So Melissa tied it around your neck. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, she did. So you, um, so you will be, timed. And okay. um, was I actually instructed? See, this is what she said. Do I want to do the top button? Do you want the top button done or not? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. All right, Melissa. All right, are you ready? Because wait, you have to start this from seated and then. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go. One, two. So if you want to be. Why you be? Return to a seated position. Okay. Unofficially, we look, have. I just wanted you to notice. Look! Look at how. Look at where the bottom of that is. That's perfect. Unofficially, Aaron McCune is the winner of the tie-off. But we will go back and. To, oh, whoa. All right. Let's wrap this up. Um, AaronMcCune.com, on AaronMcCune.com, there's a direct link for, for Cabin Fever. AaronMcCune.com slash Cabin Fever will get you there. July 7th starts the first. Yep. Yeah, Thank so, you. so check it out. And it's buzz about tradition that we end yeah. in a hug. Oh. So, we'll, so you're can just I, saying so that? Can I, no, it's not, I'm not just saying that. So, th thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. We're out. Uh, she could do what be shake my hand in competition. Well, I'm always fair.